Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do uh, your May bonus reading for May 2024 for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon rising in Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you for the month of May. I was going to do June 2024, but actually wasn't feeling the energy. So decided to do a bonus reading for you. So let's see what we have. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for May. Additional message. Oh, I love that. This is your card in the Major Arcana, the Temperance card. Everything in moderation, being in your truth. It's also that sense of balance energy. We have the Queen of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. Could also be you, your heart energy connected to your emotions and feelings. In a balanced way, though. We have the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> nice, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, my goodness. This is going to be a powerful month for you. Why? Because we've got Jupiter, the Wheel of Fortune, your ruler, and we've got your major arcana here as well. Good luck, good fortune, divine time, ignore orchestration, uh, change, turning points. It feels obstacles being removed, a synchronistic sequence of events. It's all that kind of energy. Divine timing is at play here. We have the world in the immediate past. We have the Six of Swords in the immediate future. Bottom two cards, we've got the Queen of Swords. And we have the Three of Cups. So I'm gonna pull a spirit message for you. What do we have? For our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. Message from Spirit for Sagittarius. We have take a moment. Stop. Now is not, not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. With that bottom of the deck, we've got a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. Let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to pull a couple of cards. Um, I'm going to pull some cards for money areas. Could be an additional message to the reading. Just nice to have some additional messages in different life areas, I think, for the month of May. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Money. Arguments. Be on guard with who you deal with in terms of any money related matters. Make sure everything is in order to avoid monetary problems. There could be some financial disputes. With that Sagittarius, we have charity. See where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference. 
Humanitarian work, human rights, justice or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Let's see what we have for you in terms of love, romance and relationship energies here, Sagittarius. What do we have? Two cards. Okay. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. It's either about a marriage or it could be affecting one. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And I'm going to pull two oracle cards to go with that. What do we have for Sagittarius? Let's just pull two general oracle cards for the month of May 2024. There they are. We have sacrifice, giving up something now for a future reward. Nice. I mean, this just feels like you know what to do with the heart and the mind. This just feels like your energy. We have self-awareness, tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. So self-awareness. Okay. Sagittarius. Um, let's... Certainly in terms of... When we focus on uh, the Four of Pentacles, financial stability and security, even though we have to be conservative with money, we have to kind of like watch every penny. Um, there is a level of patience in the present situation here. It comes after some kind of completion. So this is the energy at play here. And it may be intuitively, again, certainly in terms of, of trusting your instinct, trusting your intuition, uh, I feel you could also be so you know supported by a queen of cups. I feel this these two queens are the same. It feels that sense of, of uh, the balance between the heart and the mind. It feels that kind of energy here. In the immediate, but we do have good luck and good fortune, a turning point, things turning around, things turning in your favor. The six of swords is about putting difficulty behind you and feel that you're heading in the right direction. So things are looking up. Things are going to start looking up. You're coming back to yourself. I said it's a powerful month for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune in Temperance. This is you really stamping your authority all over the month of May. Uh, really coming back to your own, doing what you do best. But having that kind of... Um, the advice that I, I need to give you as part of this energy is about keeping your head... It's about keeping your emotions in check. It's about keeping that balance within your own energy. You know, because it is divine timing and orchestration. Things are moving, you know, in a kind of moderate way, so to speak. In the immediate future, you're heading in the right direction. Now, I feel that you might be getting clarity of a situation here, Sagittarius, and there is that sense of reasons to celebrate. Again, the Three of Cups can be celebrations, parties, coming together with friends or family. It might well be because you might get clarity of your situation here and you get to kind of like move on from a situation that, that likely uh, is not meant for you anymore. You know, everything happens for a reason. These energies are likely divine timing and orchestration is in your life right now because you're meant to be moving in a different direction. And this is the whole energy of the reading. Um, so it's about some kind of significant completion in the immediate past is almost kind of like setting you on a new journey. However, that completion manifests for you. The world is a major completion. It's the end of a life cycle, but we learn, we grow, we evolve, we take the lessons. And there is something about what you've learnt on how something completed in the past, you're taking all that wisdom, all that knowledge, all that experience, all those lessons, and you're more savvy, you're wiser, you're more empowered. Um, so just remember that here, Sagittarius, because there is an opportunity to move 
uh, detach from a situation and put difficulty behind you. And there is definitely this sense of celebratory energy here in the in the as the cards are ending in the reading. So it, it definitely I mean, Queen of Swords is also quite a nice balanced energy as well. Uh, as temperance is some kind of sometimes it's a very patient and moderate energy but you know queen of swords can be when we're clear in terms of how we're moving forward when we have sight of how things are moving forward you know so it could even be a queen of swords is bringing you news or bringing you a decision in some way as well male or female but um, the energy is there's celebratory energy there's a coming together so powerful energy certainly in terms of money career finances you just need to keep you the reason why i'm saying this here sagittarius is because you could let your emotions get the better of you you could let your thoughts get the better of you as well which is easy to do in this kind of situation and it's about keeping those in check and that will serve you well moving forward so always take a moment i think that's the energy here take a moment because it's about being very patient everything in moderation not too much of one energy not too much of another but everything in moderation keeping your head regardless of what else is going on in your circumstances that would be the approach here and it would be similar if somebody is returning into your life as well something ended in the immediate past it was a major cycle completion i feel this is likely to do with love romance relationships I also think that you've moved on from a situation as well and there's just this strong energy here and again this uh, sorry in the, in the in the money career financial situation you might have been supported by somebody they might have supported you however that manifests for you I think it's a, a kind of temporary situation because I see you heading towards better times this is about putting difficulty behind you and moving forward in a positive way towards that sense of celebration and joy but in the immediate past in terms of love romance relationships something ended and they're coming back into your life and you're going to have to choose in terms of the right kind of love for you the balance between the heart and the mind why? Because there might well be some st still some emotional attachment, emotional feelings to the person that you completed a relationship with, you ended a relationship with. Um, there's that strong energy here in terms of self-preservation, self-protection. There's also that feeling here, uh, Sagittarius, if this is the other person, they, they are struggling to let go of you. You know, they're struggling to move on. So it's likely here that um, they are returning into your life. Now, it could well be because there's somebody else. We have wedding. We have release your ex. There could well be the potential here of a marriage between two people, a soulmate. There could even be some kind of celebratory announcement. There could well be some kind of reasons to celebrate a coming together in some way. Hearing through friends as well. Hearing through a friendship network as well about... Um, the fact that you, you've moved on with somebody else. I feel this is somebody who's likely returning into your life because they don't want to let go. Um, I see with the Six of Swords, however, and this Queen of Swords energy, this is more of a detachment energy. This is about being in your truth and being clear in the heart and mind in terms of choosing the right love for you. And I think you know, I mean, you could even get advice from friends and, and family as well. But I think you know in terms of the right direction for you, who has the potential to bring you fulfillment and and and, uh, and growth and, uh, you know, a relationship that can really flourish. I feel that you're, you've, you're detaching from uh, the past in some way. And you're, and with that, you get closure. With that, you can finally cut energetic cords with this person. And sometimes these things happen just so that we can move on, completely move on and detach from a situation. Because there is that sense here of, of there are still feelings for somebody. But I think that uh, through taking a moment and rationalizing this between the heart and the mind, you're choosing where joy and happiness is. And you can, you know there is that sense of self-awareness there is that sense of of knowing that something has to be sacrificed here in order to move on to something better 
And that's what I'm seeing for you here. It's a big month, but uh, so just keep everything in moderation in your own energy, in how you approach a situation here, whatever the situation is, and you will certainly find that way forward to move in the right direction for you. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Opportunity. This is your little angel message. Opportunity. We are all present, presented with opportunities and are expected to flow with the currents that come our way. Drawing this angel card suggests that something is now being made available to you and it is up to you to use it to your greatest advantage. Be alert, be aware and be prepared. You can, of course, make your own opportunities. If you knock on enough doors, one will inevitably open for you. So you are also reminded to persevere, for it may be that a door which was previously locked has now been opened a crack. Quieten your mind and ask the angels to help you. Your affirmation for the month of May 2024, I am ready for all opportunities. Because, I mean, there is that sense here of divine timing and orchestration, things happening for a reason, people coming into your life, connections being made, conversations being had. It's all about divine timing and orchestration is a wide pos wider possibility as well. It, it can be very positive in terms of change, positive change, things turning in your favor, in synchronicity. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for the month of June. May 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading, your bonus reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.